Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I wanna to share with you some of my favorite products that I think make life with dogs just a little bit more fun and enjoyable. Not only am I gonna share some information about these products with you, but I'm also gonna do a giveaway. Starting in November 2020, you can win some of these products, and I'll put the information as to how to do that in the description below. Now, I'll also put links to each of the products that I go over and talk about in case you wanna check them out and buy them yourself. Now, before we get into some of my favorite products that make life with dogs more fun, don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video. Hit the subscribe and ring that bell to receive notifications when more content just like this to build the better bond with your dog is released. All right, so let's get right in to my first product that I wanna share with you today. The hands-free leash. If someone said to me, Sarah, you can only ever have one tool to ever train your dogs with or help build your bond with your dogs, this is exactly what I would pick. Some people call this umbilical training as well because you're directly attached to your dog, but the hands-free leash is by far my favorite training tool ever. Now they make a lot of different kinds of these. You can see I've got one here that attaches around the waist. They also have ones like this awesome biothane one that's really easy to clean. It slips over the shoulder and can attach to the dog. But the whole purpose is, is your hands are free to use. Now I'm kind of a sucker for the OG. This is the hands-free leash from PetSafe. It's kind of one of the original ones. The nice thing about it is you can unclip the dog. I use this to clip the dog in the car. But more than anything else, this is really used for bond building and teaching your dog to follow and that good things happen when your dog follows you. So when you bring in a new dog, a new puppy, anything like that, this makes it so much easier to build that bond with your dog and reward them for every moment throughout the day that they're with you and attached to you to tell them, yes, that's more of the behavior that I want. So when it comes to training tools, this one by far is my favorite. Nutrition. Nutrition is one of the first thing that I ask all of my clients about because behavior and nutrition are directly connected. The gut and the brain are directly connected. So if you're on a high quality nutritious diet, chances are you're going to be better off mentally. Think about it this way. If you ate McDonald's for a month straight and it was just junk food, how would you feel? How would you think? Would you be your tip top shape when it comes to your brain activity? Or would you be a little sluggish and a little slow? Whereas if you ate really healthy and you watched what you put into your body and you fueled your body with nutrition, how would your brain feel then? Same goes with our dogs. So personally, I picked a fresh food that had limited ingredients and that fresh food is Nom Nom. I'm out here in my garage where I feed my dogs because it's a little bit cleaner and easier, but you can see they have their own little mini fridge. But Nom Nom is a diet in particular that I researched and really liked because it's very limited ingredients and it's high quality, high digestible nutrition and the dogs go nuts over it. They absolutely love it. So for a really good mental state of mind and well-being for your dog, start with their gut, start with what's in their diet. Same thing goes with the treats that you put in there as well. Think about things that have lots of ingredients, lots of additives, lots of preservatives, not as healthy for them. So I also buy them Nom Nom dog treats. They have jerky, it's just dehydrated lean protein, lean source of meat, and they absolutely go bananas over that too. So in thinking about your dog's gut and their brain health, Again, those two things correlate. It's one of the first things that I talk about. You can actually test the microbiome in your dog to see what kind of diet is best for them. So if you wanna check that out, take a look at the description. I'm gonna put a link below to where you can look at the microbiome test health kits that Nom Nom here puts out. This is one of my personal favorites, but again, it's so important to have a really well-balanced gut through adequate nutrition so that you can have a well-balanced mind. Treat dispensing dog cameras. I was super excited when this technology came along because it's one way that you can really proof your cues. What that means is get some really strong obedience because sit means sit no matter where you are. Whether you're downstairs, upstairs, in the same room with your dog, not in the same room with your dog, not even in the same household with your dog, really getting your dog to understand what you're asking can be very easy when it comes to using something like an intelligent dog camera with a treat dispenser. You can also do really cool things like desensitize your dog to the doorbell. I actually have a video on how to do that using automatic treat dispensing cameras. I'll put the link to that video in the description below so that you can do it with your dog as well. But overall, it just makes training a lot more fun and you can really proof those cues, get them down really nice and solid. The other side to this is you can see what's going on when you're not home. What is your dog doing when you're gone all day, at work or at the grocery store? Are they panting and pacing? Are they being destructive? Are they resting quiet and calmly? It can give you so much more information about what goes on in your dog's life when you aren't right there present with them in that moment. So these are a really fun tool. It's a great way for you to interact with your dog when you're not home and a great way to prove cues. Puzzle toys. This is one of my favorite ways to provide daily enrichment for dogs. 
Daily enrichment is so important for their overall mental well-being, and this is such a great way to provide some of that for them. You can see this one's an older model here. It's had its use, it's all chewed up, but I'm gonna put some newer, kind of more modern puzzle toys that you can explore with your dog in the description below via link. So check some of those out. There's lots of really great new fun toys out there. Now, how do you use a puzzle toy? Well, all it really does is involve putting some of their kibble or a treat or some animal sense even into the different areas of the puzzle that get covered up, and then they have to seek it out and find it. And boy, does that send off some happy triggers in the brain. They love seeking out things and finding it. The important thing to know about enrichment means that the dog gets to make a choice and has a positive outcome at the same time. And that's exactly what puzzle toys are all about. So fill it with a couple of treats. You can actually put their entire meal in it if you like, set it down, work with them a little bit to introduce the puzzle to them and show them that it's something fun to enjoy and then let them go to town and let them engage with it. This is really one of my favorite ways to provide mental enrichment for your dog. Remember, they need at least, at minimum, 30 minutes of enrichment during the morning period and 30 minutes of enrichment during the evening period to really help mentally balance your dog out for overall well-being. The fluff stuff. Now what I mean by the fluff stuff are not the day-to-day -day necessities, but things that make life with dogs just a little bit more fun. So I'll give you some examples. One being dog beds. Having some cozy dog bed throughout the house. We have one in almost every room where they have a safe place to go. My dogs, for example, aren't allowed on the furniture. They're not allowed in the kitchen when I'm cooking and they need a place to be and to go. And so I give them that guidance with an actual place. For example, when a delivery guy comes to give me a package, I don't want them running to the door. I want them to know where to go and where to be and to handle things with good energy. If you're not familiar with place, I'm gonna put a link in the description below to my place video and you can teach this to your dog as well. But it's really good for mental stability and overall happiness for them to have their own spaces like their own dog beds that are nice and cozy and fluffy throughout the house. Other fluff stuff items are things like toys. You can either pick toys out in the pet store, or bring your dog along to PetSmart, Petco, or whatever pet store you want. Let them pick some fun items out there themselves. Or you can go more the subscription route, like with BarkBox Super Chewer. We get these every once in a while, and these are lots of fun because they send some surprising toys and stuff in the mail for you. And it's always just a little bit exciting to see what's coming the next time around and to share some of that excitement with your dog because they feed off of your energy. So I really like subscription style toys like BarkBox here. What's this? And I'll put the link as to how to get some of these items in the description below for you as well. But it just keeps things kind of more fun and more exciting. So even though it's not necessity, <laughs> you wanna see what that is? It definitely creates more happy space for your dog. What do you think? So a lot of these products I'm gonna be giving away, like I said, starting November of 2020. So if you wanna know how to receive some of these items that I'll be giving out, just check out the description below. All of the information is in there as to how you can win. If you have some of your own favorite dog products that you wanna share with me, don't hesitate to drop those in the comments too. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe and ring that bell notification to receive information about when I'm doing more giveaways and sharing more information to make life with your dog even more enjoyable. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, did you like that?